What's up guys, it's Tuesday evening about 10 p.m. We're burning the midnight oil here at the Ringland Motorcycle Museum. Trying to get the place re ready. Christy's uh, grandmother would be, <laughs> your grandmother would be proud of you right now. Sprinkling she, litter. She's sprinkling the uh, floor epoxy <clears throat> glitter. glitter into the floor. Alan and Tyler have been here all day long. They did the CTI flooring in this room here, which this is a really expensive product. We're a franchisee for CTI. And um, this was like a, a $3,000. Well, how about like three grand for the materials in here, this floor? Easily. No, it's really super expensive, but you gotta see this in the daylight. It's, it looks like if you stepped in it, you'd be ankles deep. It's just absolutely ridiculous. This, we call this the Harley Davidson room. Um, and then in here, this is a concrete floor that we're finishing with a, an epoxy uh, one part epoxy with a uh, um, 18 inch nap roller and uh, Christy's putting on the, you can kind of see it, it's a uh, metallic gold uh, sprinkles in here and uh, it really works out nicely with the, the colors on the ceiling and the walls but it's, it's really really excited that uh, we're finally getting this done so tomorrow we're going to do this side of the floor so the whole floor will be black and it works really nicely with the, um, the black doors, uh, with the gold handle trim, and uh, the black heaters. Uh, all the wood has been restored on the ceiling. Alan and Tyler and Kurt have been here for months, months and months, working on this room. It's a football field long, and every square inch of it had to be uh, painted, polished, plated, refurbished. So it's coming out really good. They're doing a beautiful job. Um, you can see the floor It's got some nice metal flake in it and uh, We got to paint that wall tomorrow. They restored the entire elevator operating uh, Equipment that's all been restored and cleaned and painted and a uh, local uh, wood burning artist actually burned this My name in you know, Ken Kaplan 2013 and this is gonna say uh, Rockville 1814 on this one so that's when it was built in 200 years later i restored it so with my team some killer artwork in here and uh the floors on this side these are the original rock maple floors we're gonna have tables in front of every window here and uh, eventually the bar is going to be the whole other side here so stay tuned we just keep Picking away at this project, it's a, it's a project of, of biblical proportions, for lack of a better way to put it. And um, there's been a lot of roadblocks and hurdles to get through to get where we are today. And uh, the floor up here just came out absolutely beautiful. So this is the first floor of the museum building. Uh, this is built in 1814. This is an 1880 edition that we're walking into over here. And if you go out the front door, you can see we are right on West Main Street, which the town just spent millions of dollars and repaved the entire street. Um, and that's a brand new $2 million bridge right across the street. So all the infrastructure, infrastructure most of the telephone poles, all the street lights facing the property, these are mine. Uh, the street, there's not many street lights here. And I, couldn't get the town to put them up, so we um, signed a 15-year lease, and we lit up the entire stretch of West Main from River to Orchard Street out of our own pocket. It's about 400 bucks a month, but you couldn't really traverse the sidewalk here safely at night, and uh, we wanted it to be an inviting place, so we didn't see another solution other than that, so that's what we did. And um, it's been a huge, huge, huge project, so... You can see we're on the first floor over here. There's a lower level. So there's actually one, two, three, four, five floors. The fourth floor has a 17 foot cathedral ceiling, small windows, but it's a 12 pitch roof. So lots of windows. This is the south side. So this was built, you know, uh, before the automobile existed in 1814, before the motorcycle existed. This is horse and buggies days, folks. So come on down to the museum. The museum entrance is to the east side of the building on the second floor on the weekends. Um, that section of floor was not replaced because there's bathrooms going over there before too long. 
All the metal in the entire building was painted black and gold from the, the entire sprinkler system. It's got a, a $375,000 top of the line sprinkler system that uh, was closely scrutinized by the three town fire marshals, eight building officials. We've had eight building officials on this project over the course of the eight years we've been working on it. Uh, we've invested seven and a quarter million dollars on it which is substantially more than it's worth. So obviously I'm not doing this for money, it's a labor of love. Um, this floor is gonna be quite the uh, space when it's done. It's almost there, it is, is a football field long. You can see Christy way down there on the other end. You can barely see her. But um, definitely been a labor of love for sure. You see the nice finish and all the sprinkler uh, these are new flitch beams, these metal beams here. I don't know if you can tell that they're all the gold bolts are painted gold and the beams, the metal flitch beams are black because they had cut sections of the beams out uh, for to put bigger machines in here when it was a factory. So this was made in the 1800s and as the machines grew bigger, they needed more space. So that's what they did. We painted, there's Jimi Hendrix on a Harley. This is where the bar is going to start, right here at this, these steps. And it's going to go down to the other end, all the way down to where Christy is by the Mototown sign. And um, it'll be a gift shop counter and bar and a place to sit and uh, enjoy yourselves and talk to your friends after touring the museum, which is on the uh, museum and motorcycle sales displays on the second, third floor, second and third floors, as is the, the showroom. What's that look like? That's carved out of the, the finish. The, the finish on the walls here is a trowel on finish. It has the black stuff is, is, is uh, black sand. And then we have gold mica and then we have seashells. You see that? There's seashells and oysters. Uh, we went through six different renditions of the floor of the wall finish before we came up with that. We, we really like that. And I think it works nicely with the wood. The ceiling, we struggled. We, we had plan A, B, C, D. We're up to plan K before we finally selected the ceiling finish, which was predominantly gray. Every other bay is gray. And then it alternates green, gray, black, gray, green, gray, black, gray, all the way down. All, the, all of the hardware in the building, all of the um, hinges are all gold. Um, as you can see, all the doors are black. The theme of the building is black and gold. And you see there is some green, some vintage green. These are the original windows, uh, not uh, original, reproduction, reproductions of the original windows. They're wood on the outside, wood on the inside. They're extremely high end. The Historic Society demanded these wood windows and we had to pay through the nose for them. Uh, there's only four companies in the, in the country that make these windows. And they were over $1,200 each. So it was a substantial investment. And, uh, will be, I don't know how many times we've cleaned them during the construction process, but a tremendous amount of detail work in the museum. If you want to get involved, uh, we're always looking for volunteers. If you want to subscribe to the channel, that'll help. If you want to come down and volunteer, that'll help. If you want to donate to the museum, we are a 501c3 nonprofit, so you can make the do donations of motorcycles, or if you are working for a big company, a Fortune 500 company, and you want to get involved and support the museum, that's what's gonna help take us to the next level. So tomorrow, this side of the floor will be black and this side of the room will be cosmetically largely complete. These, these beams here have been uh, two coats of Danish oil and two coats of poly. So it's really coming out quite, quite nicely. These picnic tables are gonna be used. These are the ones we have outside for the summer events. We have 11 picnic tables. Those will be set up in here with tablecloths on them and to spend their winter inside here with us. So here's the here's the guys that made it happen. They've been here all summer. What do you think, boys? It's awesome. awesome. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about what your experience here, guys. Um, I feel like I'm really making a difference here. You now we're we're turning a wasteland into this beautiful piece of art. Yeah. Absolutely, every square inch of the place. And I know we we spent a lot of time debating everything we did out here and. Just to give you an example, this sign right here, this Harley-Davidson sign, this was, the letters were donated 
off of a building that had a Harley Davidson shop in it. And me and the guys uh, figured out that we could take these columns here, these sheetrock columns, and turn them into like a Harley Davidson sign. So the letters were donated and we crafted this. And it's been a lot of work. Stay tuned, we will have a bar here before too long, so you can come and get something to eat and drink and uh, enjoy yourself. This is the uh, CTI flooring in here. You can get a better look at it. It's still, it's really a fantastic product. A lot of detail work in this room. That skylight was a huge project to restore. And here you can see we use a little bit of gold in the floor. I don't know if you can pick it up with the uh, darkness in here. There's a little bit of gold highlights with the black CTI flooring. Uh, to say I'm uh, pleased is uh, an understatement. I'm thrilled to see this place coming together with uh, help from some friends making it happen. So stay tuned. Much more good to come. We've got some great motorcycles that we've been restoring that you see. I think we did nine bikes uh, in the last couple of days that we videoed, ones we restored, and I got six more coming up tomorrow. A couple killer Makos and some Primo machines, so stay tuned. And as always, God bless the USA. Hey, babe, you want to add any words of wisdom on, on the project here? I love the sprinkles. I love the glitter. <laughs> Tell them about your family history here. Oh, my gosh. My grandmother was here. She was a seamstress when it was a thread mill. She used to look for all the imperfections in the cloth. And uh, my mom was worked in accounts payable. Uh, when it was Contramatics and my dad was the manager, uh, they met here. Then she, uh, they got married and then she had to work someplace else because you couldn't be working in the same company back then if you were married. And, uh, and then my company was here, Campus Wear, where I used to work in the concrete building next door. Sign's still there. <laughs> yeah, the second floor, the building behind here. So Chrissy's family has a history with the buildings here. Her dad actually owned a paint shop that my office is in right now. Um, and the sales showroom for Kaplan Cycles is in the, the room that used to be her dad's office. So, uh, and now her daughter works here uh, at events with us. So four generations of her family have worked in this building over the last hundred years. And the building's been here for 205 years. So literally probably 10, 12 generations of people have come through this mill it's, it's coming out beautiful it's coming out awesome it's uh, our industrial heritage being repurposed for something really cool uh, for future generations to enjoy so thanks for watching god bless america